How you doing, sir? How are you doing? What you got in your pocket? Sir. Sir, what are you doing? Can I get your ID from you, please? Are you unable to talk? Sir, I need your ID. If you do not provide me with your ID, you're going to be placed under arrest. Car 231, you want some for? Three five three. How far off are you? Sir, are you not going to talk to me? You're not going to provide an ID or anything? Probably want to go ahead and send the supervisor this way. Are you not going to talk to me, sir? You're just going to stand there filming me? <laughs> sir, where is your ID? He's not talking. Not yet. He's about to be. Sir, you need to stop. You need to stop and provide your ID. I am both confused to waive my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I okay. I need to search and seizure. Okay. I want my lawyer. You're under arrest. What is the charge? <clears throat> sir, what is the charge? At the moment, obstruction. Obstruction of what, sir? Because you won't talk to me, you won't answer me, you won't provide an ID, which you are supposed to do. Do you have anything sharp in your pocket? Any guns, knives, metal, anything like that? Good enough. If I get hurt on something, that's going to be even worse on you. Because there's people with guns that are assaulting me. We haven't assaulted you. Our yes, we have. I'm, I'm, I am, I am being unlawfully detained. We told you why. Uh, I did not have to provide an ID in the state of Virginia unless I am lawfully under arrest. Where would you get your law degree at there, Chief? Yeah. You know the law just as well as I do, sir. Where is your gun at since you got a holster on you? I'm not answering any more questions. I'd like my lawyer, please. Enough. How do you cut this off? Still crankling, is it supposed to do that? Probably broke it. Yeah. But 
Nothing on the front, hold it down. That's off now. That's up? How about this one? Button on the front, hold it down. This one? Yes, sir. Drop that. Sir, walk over this way to my front. Okay, just stand right back here at the rear of my bumper. Was this thing on? No, I was just taking some stills. Okay, this thing is still crinkling. Where's the button on there? Can uh, you see it? Over on the right hand side, uh -huh. there's, see where it says hold power? Uh -huh. Hold it all the way down and just hold it. Like, yeah, push it up and hold it. I don't consent to searches. Well, let's take a case you don't have to. You're not carrying an ID on you? Is this you, Kyle Hammond? My name is Kyle David Hammond. My day Since I'm under arrest at this time. Uh -huh. And it came up as if no one entered anything. Okay. <clears throat> Four fourteen eighty eight. That's your correct date of birth. Yes, sir. Do you know your social? By law, that's all the information I provide you, sir. <laughs> Do you have a cell number? Because I need that for my report. Or a home phone number or anything? No, sir. Um, that's, that's all I'm going to provide until I talk to my lawyer. Good enough. Uh, I'm not trying to be hard on you, sir. I'm no, not at all. You're, You're not trying, trying to be hard I'm at all. My right. No. Come on.
Car 231, you're also for? Kimberly Way still your current address? Yes, sir. Okay. You live there by yourself? I'm sorry, I'm not going to answer any more questions without my lawyer present. Okay. Well, you keep answering questions when I'm asking you. I'm just trying to well, I, I get the basic I, I have to give you that if you ask it, right? I have to well, you my didn't want to talk to me when I initially talked to you. Why was because that? Because I was not under any obligation to, sir. You don't think your behavior is a tad suspicious? It's exercising First Amendment rights is suspicious, sir? There's a difference between illegal and suspicious. We investigate things that are suspicious in addition to actual crime. So you that's why I came over. Of committing a crime? That's why I came over to talk to you. What crime right? did you suspect me of committing, sir? I didn't. I just said that what you so were was doing. I, what was I being detained? What I just said was you were suspicious. I came to make contact with you, and you wouldn't talk to me or provide your identity. That's why you're standing here in handcuffs. Okay? So I'm under arrest at this time. That's why you're in handcuffs. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I hope you can. Yeah, it is. How are you, sir? All right. This is Mr. Kyle Hammond. Um, he was over here on that corner by the uh, fire hydrant, standing there. He's got his cell phone filming or whatever. He's got some other little neck thing hanging around him. He's got a recording device on him. He's got a camera on a, on a post. 
numerous recordings, blah, blah, blah. So he's standing over there. When I pull up, and where I'm at right now, pull up, go to approach him, talk to him, find out what he's doing, blah, blah. And um, he wouldn't speak. He wouldn't say anything. That's when I asked Nina how far off she was. She got here, and he just starts walking. He's never spoken to me the entire time. He just starts walking this way. So she gets out. We try to talk to him a little bit more. That's it. Place him under arrest. Construction. He won't ID himself. He won't do anything. Investigating a suspicious situation, he's got to give me his ID. So that's where we're at right now. He is local. I have, have to figure out who he is. Because once we got him under arrest, yeah, we got his ID. That's when he finally admitted to what he was doing. I mean, admitted to who he was. So. I still haven't said what he was doing or why he's, he was doing. He's uh, expressing his freedom to film the FBI office, which I informed him that in and of itself is not a crime, but him not providing his information to me when I asked, investigating a suspicious situation, that's why he's standing there in cuffs. Okay. He apparently has a law degree, I think, by the way he talks. Okay. I'm going to go talk to the, I'm going to go talk to the guard. I'm pretty sure he wants to talk to you. Yes, sir. How you doing? All right, sir. Y'all have an agent responding out here, or just we called? I called the duty agent, uh -huh. and um, they asked me to call y'all. So, okay. call the police. so right. they will not be responding. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Can I get your information from my report? Since you want to call again? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got your ID or driver's license? Sure. sure. Now I understand there was somebody out here yesterday. Yes, he came. We think the same person. I'm not sure. He, I did my first task here. Another officer on duty yesterday. Okay, but but the officer responded out here yesterday and stopped and talked to him? So, Mike, yes, we called police yesterday on the correct. Okay. He looks different. We got a, um, this is the person we got. He looks different from. He never actually came on the property or did property. anything, right? Right. Right. Good enough. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Do I know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give a report number and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm going to give a report number and everything. All right. Um,
you were a magistrate, would you write a warrant for that? Yeah, if he's not talking. Yeah. You know, but that's up to them. Yeah. Um, Yeah, and I, I agree. Um, that's three thirty one, go ahead. Because it's a non enforceable situation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. 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 Seventeen twenty nine. I know you're over here expressing your freedoms and everything else, okay? But like I explained to you before, what you're doing is suspicious. If an officer approaches you to talk to you to find out what you're doing, you're obligated to kind of like let them know what's going on, provide your ID when it's asked for. Do you understand that? I'm very confused to wave myself remember right your name, Okay. <clears throat> I have the option at this point is to taking you into the magistrate or releasing you on a summons. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Since you comprehend that really well, all right, you got to understand, you're out here. I'm not exactly sure why. It's very suspicious, all right? You are local. You have an address. You have an ID. So I can release you on a summons. But if you continue this type of behavior and you're not willing to talk to anybody and say what it is or what you're doing, then my guess is you're going to continue the behavior, all right? And then I should take you in. So to be clear, sir, you are stating that unless I waive my Fifth Amendment rights, that you're going to take me to jail? No, I didn't say that. Um, then I'm not understanding. What I'm saying is if I think that you're going to continue the behavior and keep causing a problem, then I should take you into the magistrate and obtain a warrant for you. That's what I'm telling you. Care to talk to me? Let me know what you're doing. You don't think this I, is, you I, don't think this is suspicious. I'd really like to talk to my lawyer, sir. You'd like to talk to your lawyer. Okay. You're not on any kind of uh, psychotropic drugs or anything, or seeking mental health. Or anything? Yes, sir. Do you have any problems? Yes, sir. All right, because from the time I walked up here, like Officer Elliott pointed out, you've been shaking like a leaf, you know, just kind of very nervous, very kind of trying to figure out what's going on in your head that you won't talk to me. Would you be scared if men with guns came up and violently assaulted you? When were you violently assaulted? You're placed under arrest. I don't recall you being violently assaulted at any point in time. We'll let the courts decide that, sir. Okay. Do you think you need mental health? No, sir. All right. Are you feeling suicidal at this point in time? No, sir. All right. You feel like hurting yourself? No, sir. Hurting anybody else? No, sir. Okay.
Delta to the ISP, South of the Howell, we have a subject running from the B-34, standby for location. Looks like they may be in the area of Colwood and Shallot. One time. Okay, Mr. Hammond, you summoned to appear in Henrico County General District Criminal Court for an arraignment on July the 13th, 2015 at 9 a.m. for a violation of State Code 18.2-460, which is obstruction of justice. Promise to appear at the time place shown above. Sign the summons is not an admission of guilt. Certify that my current mailing address is shown below. You said Timberly Way is still your current, right? This is underlined because it is a mandatory appearance. If you fail to show up, the judge can issue a capious or fail to appear a warrant for you. This line is scratched through because it's not a prepayable offense. I need you to press down hard and sign right there. Okay. Promise to appear in court. All right. And before you guys go, can I get everybody's names and badge numbers? Okay. I knew yours is obviously going to be on there. Everybody else's is in, right? Yeah, we'll take care of that for you. All right. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Can I put my stuff back in my pockets? Great. What's your number, name? Everybody here is in Ryko Police. That's Officer Elliot. Sergeant Reamer back here. I don't know his number, but there's and only... Can I get that other officer that pulled up? Yeah. As well. I don't know his number, but I don't know what he has to do with it. He didn't even Yeah, I, to I, I, I just want everybody on the scene. Um, sure. And then um, for your dash cam, when is that going to be available? It won't be to you. You can maybe talk with your attorney right, about right. that. That's what I'm saying. You know? is, is you guys are going to keep that, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. We, that's what we do. Okay. Right. Now, um, hang on. I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. okay. This is not a county maintained roadway. Okay. This is private property. Okay. Do you own any of these buildings? No. Do you work in any of these buildings? No. Okay. You're going to need to leave the property. All right. Okay. That's what I was planning on doing. Okay. I need to call my attorney. Did you so. walk or did you drive? I drove. Okay. Where are you parked at? Over there. Okay. Go ahead and get your car and go ahead and leave. <laughs> 